Hi, my name's Vince Sheehan and today I'd like to talk about Doctor Who Galaxy 4 starring William Hartnell as the Doctor and being the first story of the third season of the classic series broadcast uh, in September and October 1965. I'd like to go through this four-part story exploring um, basically the plot and how uh, what themes crop up in this story. Now sadly, as with much of Season 3, Galaxy 4 is, had, was wiped from the BBC archives, although the third episode turned up a few years ago. There are still photographs of, of the other episodes as well as the full soundtrack, so it has been possible to reconstruct this story. Now in Galaxy 4, the Doctor, Vicky and Stephen find themselves on this planet and um, they notice these small, rather unassuming looking robots trundling around um, whom they nickname the Chumblies. Uh, they see those from the monitor and uh, they go out to explore and as well as encountering these Chumblies they come across these like warrior women with these guns, uh, these kind of uh, peroxides, blonde hair and um, they're called the Dravines and um, they're basically marooned on this planet and they talk about this other uh, group on the planet as well, the Rills and they are enemies and they paint the Rills in this very unflattering way that they're basically uh, little more than murderers etc. And the Chumblies are under the control of these rills who we haven't encountered yet. Now the Dravines explain that there's 14 more dawns before the planet explodes. It's a race against time. The rills have got a spaceship, so have the Dravines, but the rills one is functional, so the Dravines want to hijack that. But the Doctor works out from his own instruments in the TARDIS that it's not 14 more days, but two more days, two more dawns before the planet explodes. So there's less time than uh, everyone thought. In the second episode, the Doctor and Vicky eventually make their way to the real spaceship. Uh, they're taken by the Chumblies to this, this craft with these kind of triangular windows uh, and lots of clear plastic. And they finally encounter the reels and we see one and he's this rather hideous looking creature. Looks a bit like a slug stroke insect with these tusks, etc. And that's the end of that episode. Episode three, we realise that it's actually the Reels who are the good guys. And we hear a bit more of a backstory between the Reels and the Dravines. It turns out that the Reels are more than happy to take the Dravines with them, even though they know the Dravines want to cause them harm and that they know the Dravings want to take the ship for themselves. They also repudiate the uh, chief Dravings claim, Marga, her name is, that when they landed, the Reels killed one of the Dravings. It was actually Marga who killed an injured Dravine. And in the meantime, Stephen is trapped in this airlock on the Dravings ship. He thinks that outside the Chumblies might kill him, but, there, but he also realises how um, evil Marga is, the chief Dravine, and she's likely to kill him as well. And uh, Marga takes out the oxygen from the airlock, so Stephen looks like he's doomed. In the, th the final episode, Doctor and Vicky come back with the Chumblies. Uh, they manage to free Stephen from this airlock. And... Um, the Doctor basically jump starts the real sh ship, the real ship from these power cables running from the TARDIS. The reels are able to escape, um, and the Doctor, Vicky, and Stephen escape, of course, from the TARDIS just before the planet explodes and the Dravines are stranded and face their doom. So, what are we to make of the story? Well, by now in the third series of Doctor Who, we often find a lot about two alien races at loggerheads with each other. That's quite a common theme. Um, we have 
this idea of being marooned. Uh, a bit like Vicky's first story, The Rescue. But I think the main theme in this is that you should never judge a book by its cover. The Dravines are like these kind of very uh, glamorous, dolled up, attractive women in these kind of uh, fancy hairdos and short skirts and big guns, etc. A bit like the forerunners to the Happiness Patrol from season 25, actually. But the, uh, the reels are... They look absolutely disgusting. We only ever see one real, but he's a horrible looking thing. But he's incredibly noble and an enlightened and selfless in his character. So it's this idea that we should uh, never judge a book by its cover. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's quite an enjoyable story, even though much of it's lost and from, it looks like a very cheap story to be honest I mean even by Doctor Who standards it, it does seem like there re it really is on a shoestring this story. Uh, the Chumbleys are quite charming little creatures um, I don't know if they wanted them to be some kind of uh, cute thing for the, the young children but uh, I don't think they ever really caught on but um, it's an enjoyable story Perhaps not one of the strongest Doctor Who stories from the classic series, but definitely worth a watch and a listen, of course, for those episodes which lack the visuals. Thanks for watching. Please check out the slideshow of the themes and structure after this.